I didn't get the memo. Oh, I see. You're salty. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. These are stale. <laughs> <laughs> They're really bad. What's up, guys? It's uh, Steven and Spencer and Jake. And we're here to talk about this week's fun shows. Flash, Arrow, a little bit about American Horror Story. A little PC <laughs> bit because that was crazy. crazy. And then Legends of Tomorrow. And that's tonight's topics. And it's almost Halloween, so we dressed up. Spencer. Salty man. Salty. So, first things first. How was your week, guys? It was good. Good. A lot happened. I was pretty busy this week, you know. Oh, oh, the shows. Moving forward, we now have The Flash. Uh, I would say The Flash, um, if, if we haven't seen it, then don't continue watching. But uh, it was on Tuesday. And The Flash was uh, continuing the... The plot point of um, well, Jesse Quick. It threw in a great, a great villain for the Flash, a great antagonist, Mirror Master. Very silly. One of the great. It's, he's he's one of the characters it, who should be wearing spandex. It's a little too silly of a power. That, I know we have crazy powers and, and powers and things, but it was almost too silly. But that's that's original comics, you know. Like obviously. Uh, DC Superman, what are we gonna name this all powerful guy? Let's just name him Superman. Like, it, they were made to be silly, and then we got real gritty as the, what it went down, which is fine. I like reading it and watching it, but the silliness can still exist. Yeah. His superpower is what? Controlling reflective services. It's, or, it's like, like playing portal. Is it an alternate dimension inside the mirror? It's blackness. I don't you think. could throw everyone that's in uh, Iron Heights in there, and that's just an endless void of prison. Eventually, it's like it's like when in Zoo Tycoon I put all the animals in one cage and they would just kill <laughs> each other until there was one dominant lion. Why did the lion always win? I would just put the people inside the cage and then the animals on the outside of the cage. He wants to come back in the in his Look, actual costume, I can which I'm for. I can suspend disbelief. That's what you do when you watch a show. That's no problem. Look, I watch Legends of Tomorrow, and that's the most weird show ever, and they break all the time laws and everything. But this just seemed too. Cartoonish, and I get it. It's supposed to be a comic book, but come on. And like, if anything, Flash is the most cartoonish of all of them. Okay. So if you're gonna do it in any of them, you might. Oh, I guess. Okay, that's not true because Legends is pretty. Somebody want to remind me what the name of the accomplice was? Up. Uh, does she matter? Her power is more believable. Ver vertigo, part two, part three. She gives you vertigo, but unfortunately we have a drug in this universe already called vertigo, so we can't call her that. They named her Top. And, of course, we can't forget Killer Frost uh, origin is coming up now. Is she going to be evil? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think she's going to be evil. I think she's going to be evil. She's going to be so scared of her powers, she's going to start freaking out, and they're going to be like, no, Caitlyn, it's okay, and she's going to be like, no. And it's like, remember when Elsa, when Elsa, and I hate to bring up Frozen, but when Elsa was like, don't touch me! And then she froze everything. I feel like that's gonna happen in this show, and then she's gonna go rogue. You heard it from here first, guys. Steven thinks Flash is gonna pull a Frozen. It's not far-fetched. Frozen, Flash crossover confirmed. FF. I don't trust the new Harrison Wells. Nobody does. No. That's the whole plot of the I new think, episode. I think he, they purposely made him untrustworthy. Very weird. But good for the actor for doing all those different Harrison oh Wells. Oh my, dude. The that steampunk fun. Harrison Wells we had. Nerdy. Well, I guess we have nerdy. Does, does anybody... What do you guys actually think is going on with that Harrison? Um, is, he, is he evil? Is he trying to... What is he trying to do? Maybe this whole rogues gallery that is going on in Legends is also going on in Flash, and he is hired by... We could use a Harrison Wells and Legion of Doom. That'd be pretty well, yeah. Well, more or less. I don't think he's actually part of the Legion. I just think that he is hired by them. We're sticking with the track that these are CW shows. Oh my god. Then I think he was rejected from his universe, and he just wanted to find somewhere to belong. Oh, like Supergirl? <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> so he just wants to find somewhere where he can belong, and I think that Earth-1 is that place. I think his Earth may have been rejected him already because of the particle accelerator blew up. Maybe it was a lot, maybe there weren't superheroes made out of it. Maybe it killed a bunch of people, and, but he's still a brilliant scientist and he's still a good guy, but his universe just hates him now, so he wants to escape that. Why can't we just have Harrison Well and Jesse Quick? That'd be nice. Maybe we can do a whole um, uh, crisis in, on infinite earths and just blow up their earth. Craigslist on infinite earths, yeah. Exactly. Crisis on infinite earths, oh. I said crisis. Oh, I'm sorry. Probably Craigslist. So, it, on infinite earths. 
Could you imagine that? Is it an infinite Craigslist? Really? We're doing this? Okay, I next was, topic is Craigslist. <laughs> Does it exist in the in CW universe? Play on yeah, after there. Flashpoint. Just, you know, they they got rid of Craigslist. Craigslist is, it's it's John's list. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> now that we brought up Flashpoint, is Flashpoint over? Mm. Was it just that one episode of, hey, where? It was poorly done. It was actually very well done until the ending where it's like, okay, because all of the worlds kind of combined in the end of the comic, so like, are we, you're right, are we still in it? Is Supergirl going to be the ending of Flashpoint? Draco Malfoy, for sure, is evil. I think he's Dr. Alchemy. Yeah, oh, oh I think we all agree on that. Yeah, like, mysterious dude shows up, mysterious vi- supervillain shows up. Hey, we got this high-profile actor who's known gonna, for playing a supervillain. What are you going to do when it ends up being Eddie? I think he'll bring Eddie back. I don't think it will be Eddie. I'd stand up and cheer. <laughs> I would be so happy. CW, why do you kill the fan favorite in season one? Tommy, who's still alive. Who's still alive. Tommy who's still was alive. a fair favorite. Um, yeah, <coughs> towards the Prometheus, end. what? Towards the are we going to talk about Arrow? <laughs> yeah, I was about to move us on to... If Stephen Amell... If, if he was just himself, that would be Oliver Queen. He would be Oliver Queen, but right now we've got super emo um, uh, Oliver, which might as well. I mean, if like if I want to reflect the true emo capacity of Oliver, I think my hood should be just like down to here. So All right, how about no Felicity and Diggle? Does the show get better? Keep no Diggle. Felicity. Let me say you have Diggle. add Diggle. Add Diggle. No Felicity. No Felicity. Keep Oliver and maybe. Uh, throw Thea back into the mix. Or new Thea. Artemis? Yeah, new Speedy. Oh. Um, yeah, they have a relationship with her. I hate Wild Dog. Sorry, I had to say it. Yeah, no, I do too. Every, I think everybody does here. Yeah. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't really know why they decided to have that yeah, character. I don't know why they decided to have this entire new team. And Ragman. He's I like, like Ragman. Yeah, he's, he's, he's likable. He's cool, but like... He doesn't why? fit in the show, but I'm glad he's there. The yeah. character, okay. the, the guy, the other guy. Okay, what's his oh, name? Mr. Mr. Terrific? <laughs> Everything that he is, is what the character is in the comics. Mm. Yeah, that's how I think everyone feels about it. Because he's like <laughs> a male version of Felicity, and it's literally when they get together, I'm watching a scene that should probably would have been cut if it was the Suicide Squad movie. The one thing that I really do enjoy about Ragman is his costume still makes him look super villainy. <laughs> He's like Scarecrow! No, but my favorite yeah, is they yeah, talk yeah. about... Even they address that in his last week's episode, but literally when they're on the mission and Mr. Terrific's like, dude, you gotta stop doing that with your voice. I can't help it. When the costume, when the rags are on, I just talk like this. But he is a likable character, like, looking at his face and just, he's very, he's very ag- agreeable, uh, although he, like, argued about how he didn't want to come back. He gave a, a justifiable reason, and I totally supported him, and so did Oliver, and then he came back and I was like, good, I'm glad to see you're still here. I think I actually just felt the way Oliver felt. Good, I'm glad to see you're back. Let's get to work. Maybe start off by killing Felicity. I will look the other way. American Horror Story. Wow. American Horror Story blew my mind. Now, terrible premiere. It was like, no one, no one, I did not want to see what came next, but of course I was going to, and then episode two saved it, and then episode three got better, and just kept getting better until this plot point of this reality television, these actors and actual people, and now the blood moon, and now the killing, and this butcher, and the real butcher, oh my god, just Shelby, the real Shelby, just taking a, a crowbar. And just beating the shit out oh of real god. life. How many episodes? Jaws are, dropped. Yeah, how many episodes are in American Horror Story? 13. 13? So Round we're 13. on set. There's still so much left. You now, do you think this might be another U turn? Maybe where, 12. No, do you think this might be another U turn? Because they set episode 6 through as far a thing. Do you think this show will wrap up and will go? Because where they're at right now, I mean, it must no, be. No, because they up. said that they all die. They all die and <laughs> only one survives. Which my prediction is that fake Matt, Cuba Gooding Jr., will survive. My girlfriend is betting with me. She says Sarah Paulson's going to survive. So, we'll see. Um, I'm with your girlfriend. I think Sarah Paulson, as we've discussed... Because Ryan Murphy has just, like, a, a crush on Sarah Paulson. You realize Ryan Murphy is gay, correct? I did not know that! <laughs> it is literally impossible I didn't for know these that. two people... And they're just supporting each other. Yeah, that there you by go. By keeping her alive. I just don't like Sarah Paulson all that much. Yeah, I didn't like her in any of the, the past seasons, but I mean, th- this season, I mean, it has been a roller coaster. 
I hate, uh, as you said, I hated the premiere, but pretty much, I, I didn't even, I caught up on it. How fast? Like, within two days? We watched it in a day. Yeah. I just want to say, Evan Peters is doing amazing. And it, for those of you who didn't watch Hotel, because you <coughs> thought it was bad, I watched Hotel, and I enjoyed it. But that being said, even if you didn't enjoy it, you have to enjoy Evan Peters' character in that. And it's mm -hmm. only gotten better. Him doing these accents, doing these characters, he's phenomenal. Phenomenal. I just caught up. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Who did you, who died? Oh, um, the one character the one did the thing, the thing. And, and they saw it, and so they, and and then they ran. that person killed them, yeah. Yeah. Legends of Tomorrow was really cool. It was there honestly okay. super okay. cool. Yeah, it was cool. It's exactly what I want from the show. Just silly one-offs and times that I don't have to think critically about. So, here, here says the guy who thought critically about Mirror Man. But I, I still really Master. enjoyed it. Master. Master. Still really enjoyed it. It was fun. Uh, just a good time. Yeah, and we can all agree that it's building up to uh, the Atom becoming the actual the Atom. Yeah, right? I, I maybe I'm in the minority, but I really like the suit. And I maybe yeah, it's too much Iron Man short, but I don't want just another spandex hero. It, I think it, his powers will be more similar to the comics. A little bit like I think we discussed. He'll more, be more chemical, and it'll be more not. He's in a giant clunky metal suit. But he's not a mechanic. He's a scientist, and I feel like. When he works on the suit, he's just like a mechanic. Um, we got Steel. I mean, essentially... I like that character. I really like that character. Yeah, it's cool. I like him. Uh, Vixen can leave, but... Uh, yeah, I'm very confused. Is it the same no, actress it's... who played Vixen in season four of Arrow? I don't think so. I don't remember, honestly. In Is she there to character. stay? She looks like she's a new member of the team now, just chilling on the thing, like, oh, here we go. I don't think she's there to adventure. stay. I Tom, think... They just break all the time rules. If she's there to stay... And they killed a bunch of Japanese people. Like, the timeline. Maybe they go back and fix it. And they, the in, the, in between, the week in between episodes, maybe they, they go, go back, back and, and fix, fix everything. everything. We just don't see it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, that'll, that'll be my headcanon then. What do you guys think uh, old Barry Allen said? Oh, man. I think it was, I gotta get faster. It was, I gotta get faster. <laughs> It's, it's I gotta go faster. 2000, it was in 2054, was that around... 2046. The, I thought that was, whatever. Is that around the same time that... That newspaper uh, article was? No, no, not the newspaper The time where Legends of Tomorrow went to the future. When was that? With, with Star oh, City. With oh, Star City 2046. 20, I think so. Are you just saying that because I said it, or you think that's what it is? If it's, you know, comment in the comments, because we're not going to look it up right now, so... Uh, yeah, I can't. If it is, though... But they reversed it, all that stuff anyway, right? Well, it's just no, because... that's the truth, because they, the Flashpoint turned the world into that. A insert John Diggle Jr. Well, the, other, the other point is is that that universe only exists if the Atom and Sarah Lance aren't there to help Oliver win, which they will be when I think this all wraps up. I mean, I don't think Legends of Tomorrow is going to be their destiny. They have to become superheroes in their own right. So, to wrap everything up, I think what we should finish off on is the uh, crossover. The, a four-way crossover. Now, a three-way, three and a half, because we're throwing Supergirl in, but it's not going to be her show. Mm -hmm. uh, I've just got a quick question here, too. Is uh, How do you guys think, because the way they did it last time with these, this crossover was, it was like, if you didn't, like, say somebody who just tuned into Arrow. They turned to that, uh, tuned into that episode of Arrow where they set up Legends. They were just lost the entire time. That's their own fault. I think that's what the writers are going for. If you don't watch, because they want to advertise and... everything. If you, that, I mean, it's how you read comics. It, they're, they're, it's like watching a comic book. Uh, Rebirth right now. They did the first crossover they did was uh, Night of the Monster Men, which I wasn't a huge fan of. But um, the first one was in Batman. But then the second one was in Nightwing. And then, the, excuse me, the third one was in the Detective Comics comics or you know swapped around and then it went back to the batman issue so by the time you read issue eight of batman or seven whichever one it was half of the story already happened you have to read the other ones in order to know so you don't have to watch the whole season but i think you have to watch this this significant in the, episode well here's the thing is because the four-way crossover starts over with supergirl so that means, I mean, we already know what the enemies are going to be in this crossover. It's going to be aliens, which who does Supergirl fight? Four-way crossover doesn't, I don't think it's starting with Supergirl. Supergirl's episode is not going to be part of the crossover. It's three episodes. Oh, they, it's, but, it's three episodes? But she's in it. But okay. they said her world isn't. Maybe at the end of the episode she goes, but I don't know. That's where I read. Wait, wait, wait. What if it's the aliens from... Um... The Time Masters are trying to protect the world from by uh, that could be it. Those uh, aliens oh, yeah. finally just say, "Oh, hey, we're gonna come now." But no, no more Time Masters. And then it's gonna be like, "We can't take these," and Barry's gonna go, 
I think I know somebody. Who and then they just get everybody involved. Yeah. Well, I, what I'm really excited for is just having the legends interact with their once on screen partners, you know? I want to see Sarah and Ray go back and team up with Oliver. I want to mm. see them interact. I don't want to hear Oliver talk about, oh, they said something about going off, and now I haven't seen him for months. How many characters are they going to shove into this, do you guys think? It's jam-packed. I'm sure. Yeah. Fire, you got all of, all of the legends. You have Barry, and I'm sure Vi will play a part. Probably right? Jesse, too. Uh, I, Jesse? I think, you know, I think they're going to go. No, they were off in their Earth 2. I don't think It'd be cool there. if they included Earth 2. It really shows how big the world is. Okay, call me crazy. I think we're more likely to see Jay Garrick before we see Jesse Quick. Oh, it'd be cool to see Jay Garrick. Cool. Yeah. So something that DC does when there's this what kind of threatening event about to affect the world, call me crazy, sometimes the villains help out. Because they know... The anti-heroes. Well, we get Captain Cold back. Yeah, we get Captain Cold, but even... Here's the thing about Reverse Flash. Reverse Flash is all about preserving himself. If he realizes that this event is going to destroy the world that he pretty much lives on? Well, you say that, but Reverse Flash lives in the Speed Force now. Because of what Eddie did when he shot himself, oh, yeah. Reverse Flash is now existing in the Speed Force, proving that he doesn't need Barry Allen anymore, or any of the world to even exist, for that matter. Yeah. Arrow's t new team, are they going to show up in this crossover? I I they're going to screw not. everything up. I hope I not. Hope not. I'm a I'll take Ragman. I'll take Ragman. Yeah, I I'll take Ragman. I, I really do like... Uh, what's her face? Young Artemis. Yeah, Artemis. I like her, but I liked her when she was trying to be Black Canary. I kind of liked that living on. No, for yeah, her. Now she's Especially got a because got a... that's what Laurel said. They had that episode where we, they revealed what Laurel said on her deathbed, and it was, "Don't let me it die with me. Have it carry on." And what does Oliver do? Here's a bow and arrow. <laughs> Don't be what she told me to do. F freak you, Laurel. And freak you, everyone, says the writers. We're going to make her another speedy. I will say, for Arrow, this has kind of been like a, a, a conjoined conversation. There's really no sets on it. Lots of Arrow. <laughs> yeah, lots of Arrow. But I will say, I'm excited for the flashbacks to reach the finale. I'm excited for him to get rescued and see that point, because then we're going to be done with those flashbacks. <laughs> and though I do like uh, seeing the dual uh, personalities of Oliver Queen... Sometimes um, I kind of am ready to just move past that. Can I just throw this out there? What do we think Oliver's next love interest is going to be? Justice? I hope so. And now we're going to do a brief discussion about uh, this most recent episode of The Walking Dead, episode two of season seven. It's almost as if that the. Excuse me. It's almost Rude. as if it's almost as if uh, someone didn't edit it in time, so The Walking Dead came out. So we figured, might as well record our responses to that it's as almost well. As that is highly unprofessional. Ezekiel is King Ezekiel. Welcome to the kingdom. Now I really, really do love the the way this actor is. This just plain rude. I, I expect it to be off. You don't see Spencer answering text messages. That Nobody's answer. texting. Uh, I really like the way the actor is uh, playing this character and the the dual roles of King Ezekiel to actual Ezekiel. Did all of their money this season just go into the tiger? The rest of the season is all hand puppets. <laughs> it's actually just storyboard. <laughs> they just like yeah. they don't even have the real actors. Actually, there. they're just cutting the, the show. Tiger, they tiger show shit. they show pictures of the comic book and they just read it to you. Uh, Ezekiel's in the back just reading it. <laughs> Well, I thought that choke would get more laughs. <laughs> Who's Carol playing this week? Is, because... she, is she a good person or not? I had half a mind sitting there when they were talking. I was like, she's just going to kill him or something. She's just so evil in the inside her head. I have no idea what she thinks. Is she mean? Is she evil? It's she... interesting because now we have this flip with Carol who's doing this more of a thing where she wants to be more peaceful, doesn't want to kill. And we have Morgan, who's coming to the grasp of Swift when he gets asked to train this new kid. And he's like, well, you know, that staff's not going to save him, though. That new kid's really cool. Yeah. I like him. And he'll die. Yeah, I, I was predicting that as well. I really like King Ezekiel. And I really hope they don't have some sort of backwards-ass, like, evil motive going on where they, like, herd walkers into the barn. And, right. Or something weird going on, you know, because I'm, I'm tired of it. And I hope they're just peace-loving people. And maybe we'll get that. Cherry. 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 Deuces. 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 Deuces.
Overall, it was a good episode. It was a lot more fun compared to last week, and yeah. I think we needed that. Yeah, we did. Clever of them to feed the pigs the dead and give it to Negan's people. Won't that just go right back to them anyway? Like, they're just going to find out because they gave them the food and then... They, eventually, yeah. It just seems like they have a perfect life. They, they're living mm-hmm. a good life, and they have Negan too taken perfect. care of. Too perfect. Well, that's the that's thing. Not, and that's the thing. If they... Oh, sorry. Go yeah. ahead. Look at the way they interact with Negan as opposed to the Hilltop. The Hilltop, like, fears him. They're crazy. Whereas Ezekiel doesn't seem to fear him. They're just kind of like, we've got this worked out. We've done it plenty of times. There's, like, and that's why even Negan's people, when they get into a fight, they let him punch him. But it's not, they're bashing over his head with a baseball bat. If they never meet Rick, I think they would live a happy life. <laughs> I think they'd live happily ever after. They're just done after that. Yeah. Oh, anyway, great episode of The Walking Dead. We just wanted to throw in a little filler here just because it feels like it would be kind of wrong to post something on a Monday after Sunday. Like, I don't, I get it. I'll, I'll work on it. A he's week. editing. He's acting. He, he's he's the perfect package. I mean, he's doing everything he can. I mean, that's why you need to like and subscribe right now The Burminator on YouTube, uh, Burminator on Facebook, like the page, Burminator on Instagram. Yeah, that's why. It's not because we're going to kill you or anything. 